What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodelswall.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial And today we're gonna render uh, curves in Maya and Arnold uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a very quick way And also very flexible way that you can customize the look of the curves And the best way to render curves in Maya is basically to convert them into polygons So in this tutorial we're gonna convert them to polygons But I'm gonna show you a really quick way to do it And it's very uh, customizable way as well So without further delay, let's get started so this is the scene I have, uh, as you can see there's a uh, lot of curves in my scene and uh, these curves are separated now, they're not like combined it's typical sometimes when you get a project that you get like a curves like that and you need to render them as, as uh, polygons but uh, you don't want to be going uh, manually one by one and trying to convert them so let's start converting these in Maya 2018 and I'm gonna show you how to convert these curves in Maya 2015 and other older generation of Mayas okay so let's select our curves and then let's go to the menu and then under modeling let's select generate and let's go scroll down here to curve utilities and then attach brush to curve so that's instantly converted all our curves into a paint effects so this is how we can render these in uh, in uh, Maya. So let's uh, go back here, and this is all the strokes that uh, Maya created. So these are basically what allow us to control the look of the curves. So let's select one of them, and then let's go to the settings, and then under brush, brush width is basically responsible for the size of the brush. So you, you know, and then global scale also responsible for the size as well. But if I want to change, I could change from global scale. It's not a big deal. You can go beyond 10, you can put 100. If your scale, you need it to be bigger. And also, uh, one important thing I just want to show you guys. There's like all kind of settings you can do here. And if you go under mesh, and you can see now, uh, this is like a circular shape. And if you want to make it, uh, you know, square or triangle, you can adjust the tube sections here. So you can have it like, uh, you know, like square now. Or triangle or like better like uh, circular shapes so it's up to you so let's assume in this uh, tutorial we're just gonna make it a uh, square and uh, we just want to make sure this setting has been applied to all our uh, strokes here so let's select all of them and then if we're gonna try to change from here it's not gonna be applying to everything it's just gonna be applying over to whatever been selected last so for example this one is the last one selected so whenever I change this one's gonna be affected so in order to change that let's uh, click on uh, control A okay and now I just want to show you guys how we can adjust these settings uh, to apply for all these uh, tubes we have so now we can see here it's not matching really the curve and it's going like uh, off and that's because it's not doesn't have like enough resolution in it while we're selecting this truck if we go to this menu here uh, we can adjust the settings and the good thing about adjusting the settings through this menu we're gonna apply for everything selected okay so let's adjust the resolution so resolution will be adjusted under the sample density so the more this density is basically the more uh, resolution we're gonna get so let's change it to 8 and you can see immediately how it's matching the curve and uh, in order to make it like uh, blend nicer you can have uh, just a smoothing here and then you can have a nice blend between uh, these uh, curve you know if you really want to have a nice curvature here and this is gonna of course apply to everything here that you can you start to have a nice uh, blending okay so let's say this is good uh, now the another important thing we need to do is uh, the scale if you want to adjust the scale we don't want to go like through each one of these and then do manually but in this uh, here in this menu we don't see anything related to scale and that's because it's in the, under the brush uh, menu so if you click on the brush menu you can see there's a long list of settings that we can adjust here it's a really really long one but uh, I'll show you the most important one and the brush global scale that's where we can adjust the scale on everything you know if you put it like a hundred it's become like you know 100 times bigger but let's make it 10 
and uh, yeah that's one is an important one and then the second important one I want to show you guys is as uh, you can see we changed the uh, settings on this guy to be more square but everything here is like circular so let's apply this square shape to everything and in order to find that we're looking for the tube section so if you scroll down all the way and then you look up here to tube sections that's basically where we can change that so now if you make it like 30 so we get everything uh, like nice and uh, circular and then if we change that to we'll say like 4 so we get like everything become square so you can see now we got this uh, maze looking curves and uh, you know this is pretty quick way like you can adjust and convert uh, these curves into polygons but now if we render uh, this is now my software but if I change it to Arnold and then I render you still we don't see anything and that's because paint effects is not gonna be rendered uh, with Arnold so let's now convert this paint effects into uh, polygons so let's select all of them and then uh, let's go to modify convert and then let's scroll down here to paint effects to polygons and I just wanna click on the option box and I wanna reset the settings so I show you guys what uh, best settings so now if you click convert it's gonna convert for you but it's gonna have triangles and everywhere and that's gonna increase your poly count a lot so what you need to do if you want to reduce your poly count to click here check quad output and then convert so now everything will be quads so basically these groups here are all the mesh and we can hide these we can just add them to new layer and then hide them and then uh, let's select everything here and then let's right click and then assign new material so we don't have this black uh, shader let's click on Arnold AI standard surface that should be enough and then let's pick an angle and then let's render and you can see guys uh, instantly uh, everything has got rendered and you can see it in your render view now if you still want to do changes on these uh, polygons you still can do that since you have these uh, strokes uh, so let's let's do some changes let's say uh, we want to in increase the smoothening so you can see it does work and so you can see it does work in your polygons and if you want to increase the density to like 19 for example and if you're gonna scroll down here and adjust the scale make it like uh, let's say 40 maybe this is too much so let's say 20 so all these settings still adjusted and you can tweak as much as you want now when we render you can see it's a new new render with the new settings that we just did so if you wanna like have no control over this anymore you can select let's say let's go back here and then let's select uh, let's turn down the scale it's too much still let's put it back to 10 and let's say you're happy with this and you don't want to do any changes on it you can select all these polygons and then go to edit delete by type and then history now this should be disconnected from the strokes so if we go to the strokes and then we do some changes on them uh, let's change the scale you can see it doesn't have any any effect on your polygons so now you deleted the history so it's not connected anymore so i will be careful with this uh, not deleting the history too soon just keep it and uh, keep doing the tweaks until you get uh, very happy with it and you're like done with your project then you could delete the history if you want but always a good idea to to have a backup with the history on so this is how you do it in Maya 2018 so let's say you don't have Maya 2018 okay so now we are in Maya 2015 and this same method gonna be applied to different versions of Maya so now you can select the curves and then go to the rendering and then go to paint effects and then under curve utilities you do the same attach brush to curves 
and then this way you're gonna get the same uh, result and then we can start adjusting the settings exactly the same way we just did in Maya 2018 and uh, and this way yeah you can guys start uh, rendering curves and then uh, customize them the way you want and hopefully this tutorial help you guys let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe for more future videos feel free to check our website 3dmoswall.com for more tutorials and cool 3d assets until next time take care